Welcome into the K0LWC Ham Shack. Today we're talking about how to interface your ICOM 7300 with a older tube based amplifier. Now we're trying to prevent something called hot switching. And if you've never heard of it, totally fine. Here's what it is in a basic sense. Hot switching simply means as you key up your radio or the exciter in this case for your amplifier, it's sending a signal so fast that it does not give enough time for the amplifier to switch from a receive state to a transmit state. So then you have voltage before the amplifier is ready and that can cause all kinds of problems for your amplifier, meaning you're gonna damage your new investment. Thankfully, there's a couple easy things that you can change on your ICOM 7300 right now to protect your amplifier. Let's go through it, talk about it. One of them is something called TX delay. We'll also change our CW rise time. So that way you'll be covered whether you're an SSB op or if you're a CW op. So let's take a look at the 7300 and what you need to change. Once you have your ICOM 7300 fired up, go ahead and click on the menu button. Um, from there, we're gonna go ahead and click on set. And from there, we're gonna click on function under the first page. Uh, scroll down to page two of eight, you're gonna find TX delay. Go ahead and click into that, and you're gonna have two different options, one for HF, one for six meters. Now, the consensus is that 15 milliseconds of time is enough. People have put it on the scope, they've looked at it. I like to give myself a little extra insurance, so I'm gonna choose 20 milliseconds of delay. I'm also gonna choose that same option for six meters. I'm gonna choose 20 milliseconds. It's not a bad thing to have a little bit more time in there. It's not gonna hurt or change anything, but it is gonna give you just a little bit more insurance that you have no arcing going on inside of that amp. Now for you CW operators out there, we got one more thing we have to change and really anybody because just give yourself the insurance, right? Go ahead and back out of this. Uh, now that we're in, we're in USB mode, let's go to CW mode. Once we're in CW mode, let's click on menu and let's go to the keyer. Once we're in the keyer, let's go ahead and click edit set and choose CW key set. From here, we want to adjust the rise time. This will be on the second page or page two of two. Click on rise time and let's set it for six milliseconds. This is the exact same reason as before. You want to give the amplifier just a little bit more time when the CW keyer is going off to make sure that it's in a transmit state. That way you don't get any of that arcing. So those are the two settings you have to adjust on the ICOM side to make sure that you're protecting your amplifier. And that's it. You're finished. It's just that easy. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Any questions or comments, drop them down below. I'll catch you again next time.